Welcome back to the PoserFactory.com Poser Basics 101 Tutorials. This is going to be the tutorial that's on how to load a figure. This is the first thing you need to do anytime you get ready to do a poser scene, loading a figure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Michael 4 or M4 character purchased from DAS3D.com to show you how I'm doing this. Please note that there's a lot of items in my library, uh, my poser library, which we'll go over what a library is throughout this series. So your your library and my library will be much different when you get, get to doing this, especially if you're brand new. Um, loading a figure is the same with any character or anything in the library. We're just sticking to the DAS3D.com's Michael 4 Character 4 series. To begin, you want to open up Poser Fresh like I have here on my screen. You may have a starter figure loaded. Just you, you can click on that and and press your delete button, get rid of him. Or you can set your Poser settings to have just default of an empty empty camera. To add a figure, you want to go to the figure tab. Obviously, it's the first one here and it's already selected. But if it's not selected, say it's on something else, you would go ahead and click the figure tab just like I did here. Once that's done your library is loaded in this window here. If it's closed such as mine just click the arrow next to it it'll open up your library and then you'll allow it to load uh, the files that are in each folder. Obviously the bigger it is uh, the more items you have the longer it's going to take to load as well as how fast your computer is. I have 627 libraries inside of my poser runtime so it takes a moment. As I said though, we're going to be using the M4 character from DAS3D.com. So I'm going to go scroll down and find my DAS people folder in which this character is in. Whatever character you use or whatever figure you want to use that you want to load is going to be in its own folder and it's going to be the exact same thing as I'm doing now. For the basis of our tutorial, I know that Michael 4 or M4 for short is in the DAS people folder. I'll just press a little arrow beside it and once again everything that's inside that folder comes down. Michael 4 is who we're going to go with. Now with the figure that you want to load you can load it one of two ways. You can double click on it as you would any program or you can go down here where these double check marks are. This is create new figure. This will add the figure to your scene. Any one will work. I prefer to you know use the uh, double check mark at the bottom just for the simple fact that you know I know that I'm not accidentally double clicking on something else it's going to take however long uh, however big the file is it's, it's going to take a little bit longer to load also on your computer how fast your computer is a lot of different things don't worry if it takes a while to load if it hangs up though and it's minutes and minutes and minutes you may need to close poser and restart it alright once you've done that, your figure is now loaded into the Poser main camera window. You now have full access to turn it around, uh, pose it, and do everything that we're going to cover in these tutorials. If you want to add a different figure, or I'm sorry, if you want to add another figure in, you would just follow the same way of getting that figure in. You can add in multiple figures. You can do an entire scene. It doesn't matter. For the purposes of our Poser Basics tutorial, though, we're going to stick with the M4 character as you see here. The next video coming up will be adding morphs. Uh, just a heads up on that. Some characters um, have additional morph packs that you can purchase such as the M4 character. Some figures come with morphs already injected. Uh, if the character that you're using or wanting to use doesn't need additional morphs or you don't have a morph pack to inject into it, you can skip the second video and go to the third. However, I, I feel it's better for you if you go ahead and do move to the next video in our playlist and see how it's, you're able to do it in case you get a figure later on that does have additional morph packs. With a lot of figures in Smith Micro Poser, you'll find that people make third-party morph packs or the original model creator will make morph packs it's always good to know how to do that and we'll get into what a morph pack is and what it does in the next video however you now should know how to load it a figure into poser so thank you for watching this miniature tutorial